Let's be honest, ultralight backpacking gear can be very uncomfortable and frankly lead to some pretty miserable nights out in the backcountry. But if you want to maximize your comfort and really enjoy your backcountry and backpacking experiences, then stick around because today we're going over my ultra comfort backpacking gear list. Starting off with the pack, this is the Gregory Focal 58 pack. It has a lot of great features. Starting with the water bottle pockets, the water bottle pockets are a big thing for me with packs. And with this one, I can easily reach back with my stubby T-Rex arms and back had shoulder flexibility and grab the water bottle pocket from that pocket. It's very durable and then has good carrying capacity. I've carried 40 pounds in this pack and when you are going ultra comfort while all the gear in here is lightweight it's nice to have good carrying capacity so that your back is comfortable at the end of the day. I went with the Gregory Focal over the REI Flash 55 this year because the Focal is just more available around the world compared to the REI Flash and I want everyone to easily be able to access the gear that I'm talking about today. Before we get the tent sleep system set up and see what I have on the inside of the pack, let's take a look at what I'm storing on the outside here. So first up, we have my tent pegs on the outside. We have bear spray. I am in bear country, so that's very important to have. We have this random item here that we're gonna talk about a little bit later, but this is a really cool item that's part of my ultra comfort gear system. And then we have my water bottle. I use smart water bottles. I just keep that in the side pocket there. I keep a bunch of items in this top brain. The brain on the Gregory Focal is huge, so I can keep a lot of stuff in here. I have my first aid kit, and then I have my poop kit in this really cool Space Bear Bags poop moji bag. And in there, I have the Vargo Dig Dig Trowel. The Vargo Dig Dig is, is not the most lightweight trowel, but if you really got to go, this thing's going to cut through anything very easily. And then I also store my ditty bag up in here. So this is a little ditty bag made by Napax. It's waterproof, which is awesome for carrying a lot of electronics. And in here, I have a bunch of items that are small, but really add to the comfort of the trip. So first of all, we have the Flextail Tiny Pump X. So this little pump will help inflate your sleeping pad, as well it has a light on the bottom here that you can put up inside your tent and just add a little bit of ambiance or some light if you're doing stuff around your tent or around camp. And while the light is awesome, being able to inflate the sleeping pad without having to blow air directly into it or use an inflation bag is a really nice thing to have. I also have my Nightcore NU25 headlamp in here, just a great lightweight headlamp. And then another lightweight option from Nightcore and that's their NB10000 power bank. And then I have a bunch of cords, my foldable toothbrush, which is really nice. I love a foldable toothbrush. And then I have toothpaste tabs. So toothpaste tabs are my favorite way to brush my teeth. When I'm out in the backcountry. I don't like bringing those little toothpaste tubes. I'll have links to these little toothpaste tabs as well as all the gear I'm talking about today in the video description. And then I have a few items in my side pockets here as well. So I have all of my snacks in the left one here. I like to keep loose snacks like almonds and stuff like that in these little bumpkin bags. They're dishwasher safe, reusable, and just a good way to use less plastic when you're out on trail. On the other side, I keep my Garmin inReach. While the inReach is an SOS device, you can call for help in case of emergency. It's also great to be able to check in with friends and family back at home or to coordinate with people that you're looking to meet up with out on trail. On the front pouch here, I have a couple items as well. I have my rain jacket. So this is the Enlighten Equipment Visp rain jacket. So while I think the Frog Togs is an awesome budget option for a lot of people, I upgrade to the Visp this year because it's a much more breathable jacket. It's more durable, compacts down nicely, and then has mechanical armpit zips, which is just all around a great jacket. I used this jacket for five days of rain on the West Coast Trail recently, and it blew my mind with how amazing it was. I also have my water filter in here. So I've been using the Platypus Quick Draw for over a year now, and I've been in love with it. I use the squeeze bag that it came with. The first one that I had broke on me, but the second one that I have that I got under warranty is still going strong. I find that the Quick Draw just filters water really easily. It's durable, and then I like that it has caps on both ends, so you can easily tuck it into your sleeping bag or quilt if the temperatures are gonna be get below freezing at night. And now let's start pulling things out of the main body of the pack. So right at the top here, I have my food kit and I'm staying at a spot that has bear lockers. So I don't need an ursac. If I was staying in a random camping place in bear country, then I'd be using an ursac in order to store my food. But I have all my food stored in this Hilltop Packs food bag. Right at the top, I have my dinner for tonight. This is Bushka's Kitchen Hearty Harvest. So I like to eat well when I'm out on trail, especially comfort trips. And Bushka's Kitchen Hearty Harvest is one of my favorite meals. My girlfriend, Steph, has described it as turkey dinner in a bag. And then I have my pot. I like like to use a decent sized pot when I'm on comfort trips, especially if I'm going with other people. So I might be boiling more than half a liter of water at a time. And the Evernew titanium pot, super lightweight and good capacity. For my stove, I use the Pocket Rocket Deluxe Stove. I just find it's very reliable, works well in a whole bunch of different conditions. And the Paiso Igniter has never failed on me. And I like that I don't have to pull out a lighter every once in a while in order to light it up. And then I also have 
my favorite item, probably out of everything in this gear list, and that's my pink titanium spoon. If you haven't joined the pink spoon party yet, then definitely get on that train. Like I said, links in the video description. Then I have my titanium double, double walled mug. So this is great for hot drinks like coffee in the morning or hot chocolate or personally, I like to have a hot apple cider at night. This is a spiced hot apple cider by Alpine, super delicious. And then I have my breakfast for tomorrow morning. This is just homemade oatmeal with some chocolate chips and dried fruit in this Rusby bag. Rusby bags are great because they are also dishwasher safe. You can also pour boiling water into them and are my favorite thing for breakfast because they have this curved bottom on them. So it's kind of like you're eating out of a bowl. The next thing I have right at the top here is bocce balls. This is just backcountry bocce. And when I'm out on comfort trips, especially with other people, I like to bring games. Bocce ball and crib are two of my favorites. Steph and I will often bring crib when we're going on backpacking trips. And if I'm in a bigger group, then bocce is an awesome game. The next thing I have at the top here is my tent. It comes in these two bags here. It's a very special tent and I picked it for a very special reason for this ultra comfort gear list. I need to get it set up and then I'll take you for a tour. Before we go into some details about the tent, I wanna talk about my trail runners because comfort isn't only about camp life comfort. The pack is a good example of something that I chose because it's very comfortable while out on trail. And these Hoka Speedgoat 5s are the same thing. They have a lot of stack height, a lot of cushion and are very comfortable on my feet. And I find them to be a great shoe in order to keep my feet comfortable on long backpacking and hiking trails. Trips. The two things I think you should really dial in when it comes to fit and comfort are your shoes and your pack. So when you're picking up new gear, make sure that both of those are going to fit you well. So for this tent, we have the Sea to Summit Telos three person tent. So this is a freestanding tent that can easily fit two wide pads as well as your pet if you want to bring them along or have some extra space for some gear or whatever you want to bring inside the tent with you. But what I love about the Telos 3P is that it weighs under two kilograms. That's very rare for a three person tent. So it's great to get all this room at such a light weight. The Telos has a bunch of design features that I love as well. First of all, it's really easy to set up. It's super quick as well. You have this brow pole that kind of curves upwards and it goes really far out. So you get full coverage from rain all the way over the door. So you're, if it is raining and if the rain's coming straight down, you're not gonna get the inside of the tent wet. As well, these brow poles make the tent a little bit higher. So it's really easy to get in and out of the tent and you have a lot of headroom once you're inside of it. Like I said, tons of room inside this tent. For two people, it's gonna be super roomy and feel luxurious. Something that I really like about it, and I think every tent from now on has to have this feature or for it to be a go-to tent for me, is that it has fast fly pitch mode. With most tents, you have to pitch the mesh inner first and then put the fly over top of it. But with the Telos, you can pitch fly first, which that means is use the pole structure and the fly in order to set up the tent. And then you can put up the inner inside of it afterwards. This is a great feature if it's raining. For the last couple of months, I've been camping in a lot of rain and some of the tents did not have a fly first pitch mode. And I just would get the inside of the tent soaking wet when I was trying to set it up in the rain. So there's a bunch more stuff inside my pack here. First of all, we have a chair. This is the Helinox Chair Zero inside of a Hilltop Packs waterproof stuff sack. I love having a waterproof stuff sack because Helinox Chair Zero absorbs a lot of water and the stuff sack that it comes with is not waterproof. So if I'm storing this on the outside of my pack, if I'm not using the Hilltop Packs, it's gonna get soaking wet and then be uncomfortable to sit in. If you wanna maximize comfort when backpacking, other than having a comfortable sleep system, having a chair is gonna do that more than any other item. And that brings us to this item that we looked at a little bit earlier. So this is a second chair. I have not one, but two chairs as part of this gear loadout. This is the Thermrest Trekker chair. The way the chair works is that there's buckles on the side here, you just do those up and you just pull the straps tight. Then you have a nice kind of chair that you can lounge in, read a book, watch a movie, whatever you need in a little bit more of a comfortable position than having to lay on your back and hold things above your head. I also have a little table to go with those chairs. This is made by Cascade Wild. And this is a great little table to play games on if you don't have any picnic tables available. You can use it outside the tent as well as you can use it as like a little nightstand inside the tent. It's also great to have next to your chair in order to put a drink down if the ground is a little bit uneven. That brings us to the gear on the inside that I wanna keep dry. I keep all my dry stuff inside of a Nilo Fume pack liner. I just put all my gear inside there, twist it up, stick it down the side, and that's gonna keep all my gear very dry. Right at the top, I have my clothing system. I'm not gonna share all the clothing that I brought with me on this trip, but there's a couple of key pieces that I wanna share because I think they do add to comfort a lot when you're out on trail. First of all, we have my Decathlon Trek 100 down jacket. Not only is this comfortable on your body and it's gonna keep you warm, but it's comfortable on the wall. This is a very affordable down jacket and performs way better than it's priced. Another item from Decathlon, fleece pants. These are just super lightweight, warm fleece pants. And I bring these on every single trip that I go on. 
Combined, I stay really warm with that jacket and those pants. Another super luxurious item that you probably don't see on a lot of backpacking gear lists are these slippers. So these are just really nice slippers from Mountain Equipment Co-op. They have waterproof and rubberized bottoms, so you can use them on damp terrain. You're not gonna get your socks wet. These are insulated as well, so they're gonna keep your feet nice and warm. Next up, we have the sleep system in here. And starting at the bottom, we have the sleeping pads. And I have a couple different options for you here. Starting with the Sea to Summit Etherlite XT, this is the most comfortable sleeping pad that I've ever used. And I've tried every single one out there. This one's nice and thick and has little dimples that help relieve pressure if you're a side sleeper. You're not gonna get pressure points on your shoulder or your hip, and your arms aren't gonna fall asleep in the middle of the night. The issue the Etherlite XT has is that it's not super warm. It has an R value of 3.2, but if you're getting much below freezing, it's not gonna do a good job keeping you warm. The other pad that I have is the Nemo Tensor 2022 version. So this has an R value of 4.2 and can sleep down to about 20 degrees Fahrenheit or minus six degrees Celsius very easy. It's not as comfortable as the Etherlite XT, but it's gonna keep you a little bit warmer. Then we have my pillow. This is definitely still the most comfortable pillow out there. This is the Nemo Philo. It has a really thick foam topper. And then it has a valve that you can use to put air inside the pillow and create a nice, tall, comfortable pillow for you to sleep on. I added a little pad strap on here. I just attach it to loops and then the label on this side. And I put this pad strap around my sleeping pad and it helps the pillow from running away in the middle of the night and just makes sleeping that much more comfortable. And then for my sleep system installation, I have an item that's slowly becoming one of my favorite gear items of the year. And that's the Hammock Gear Econo Boro Quilt. So this is an affordable backpacking quilt that is still very warm, has a lot of great features, and it's gonna keep you very comfortable while out on trail. I like quilts a little bit more than sleeping bags because I can toss and turn very easily, and I'm gonna be more comfortable while I do that and not get all tangled up like I do in a sleeping bag. Like I said, while I want you to be physically comfortable while out on trail, I also want this gear to be as comfortable on the wallet as possible. Go check out this video if you wanna see my full review of the Econo Boro Quilt. There's really nothing else like it if you want a good quality quilt at an affordable price.